some of you Leos have been dealing with the difficulty from Saturn opposing your sign um, due to it being in Aquarius. Any planets you have in Leo, the opposite sign, you've been dealing with Saturn opposing it. Now, that's not all for all of you, but that usually can put some setbacks for you guys or make it make make the struggle real okay so you're being told to look at the bigger picture forget about the little details right now okay you got to visualize where you want to be you got to see it you got to feel it you got to believe it and then the details will work out for you okay so no matter what your situation is currently look at the big picture just see where do you want to be how does it look how does it feel how does it smell it's all the law of manifestation that's your messages for the next two weeks Look at the bigger picture, okay? What else do we have for Leo? It's time to release negativity. This is what I talk about with Saturn. Saturn can bring about negative perspectives, negative people, negative attitude, blockages, restrictions, limitations, criticism, all this stuff. You're being told to let go of it. Don't even buy into that story, okay? Change your mind, change your reality. Start to think positive, believe in anything being possible and get yourself out of that negative place if you are there leo okay and then we got a win-win outcome is in the forecast yay this is awesome news okay leo some positive news is going to come through and it's a win-win situation fabulous okay luck is on your side sagittarius just got this so luck is on your side for the next two weeks suck it up suck up that luck all right now let's see what the tarot has to say for Leos for mid-month. What messages do we have for Leos, please? Only the most accurate that are helpful, beneficial, important messages for Leos. Ooh. All right, Leo, you guys got the awesomest card ever right out. The Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you have money coming to you. Big money, big opportunity. It could come through in many different forms. Remember, these are general readings. You're all not going to have it in the exact same situation. This could be a payout. It could be an inheritance. It could be a new job. It could be just money coming to you somehow, some way. <laughs> okay. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is the biggest money card in this deck. And it's also about being financially secure and feeling good. Some of you have big money coming to you. End the story on that one. Ha <laughs> ha. And then we got the Knight of wands and this is typically a fire sign leo sagittarius or aries or it's the start of something or someone coming in passionately with a message this is taking action some of you i just feel generally speaking you're going to have more energy and more confidence if you've been lacking in that area you're going to have more energy and confidence you're going to be taking more initiative okay and then we got the justice so any of you involved in court cases or situations like that this is the card that indicates that luck is on your side, the court case will be determined in your favor. Some of you are going to be taking initiative to be making something right or someone is coming in to make something right with you. Yeah, some of you have somebody, this is a three of cups. So this is a celebration or getting together with friends and having a happy time or it could be a reunion. And I feel like some of you have somebody that wants to come back and try to make something right with you and they're coming in. And for some of you, it could be a younger fire sign, but it doesn't have to be. It's just somebody coming in. Maybe you got invited to something and then you weren't invited, or maybe somebody wanted to move something forward with you and then they didn't want to. It looks like they want to now. Okay, so take it how it resonates with your situation. All right, we got the Four of Pentacles. This is holding on to your money, being concerned about money. Um, just being concerned about where you put your money or where you're going to get your money and holding on kind of tightly to your money. Some of you may have been concerned about finances, okay? Some of you have been maybe going a little tight on the finances there. Okay. And we got the Three of Swords coming in on the Four of Wands. So, I feel like some of you have been hurt recently, okay, um, definitely betrayed or hurt in something that you thought was going to go somewhere, okay, this is the four of wands in the reverse, this is a connection, a commitment, a relationship, in the reverse, it's like, it didn't quite come to, it's on hold, it's stalled, they withdrew, 
whatever it may be. And with Saturn, I'm not surprised, okay? And it's definitely caused you some sort of heartache, okay? And some of you are really holding on to the situation or this person, okay? Some of you were hoping for a relationship to really take form, to go somewhere. Those of you that have been in a relationship or a marriage, you might have been going through a divorce or a separation, or you've just, something definitely happened here. Again, it's gonna be different for all of you. Some of you could have found out about a third party situation. It's going to be different, so take it how it resonates, but there was something that definitely left you feeling betrayed in some way, okay? And then we got the Queen of Wands, and this is a fire sign, or it could be you, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Some of you, this person that ended up hurting you could be a fire sign person, or this is you going through it, okay? I'm sorry, Leo. What else do we have? If this resonates with you, I'm sorry. If it doesn't, I'm glad. So we got the Magician card next. And Leo, this is definitely the card of you can make anything you want happen. Don't give in to negativity. Don't let situations and circumstances set you back. Don't let people's belief systems of you or flakiness or disappointments. This is the card of manifestation. If you believe it, you will see it. If you believe in yourself, you're going to manifest and get whatever you want. This means you have everything that it takes to have everything you want. Talking about manifestation, talking about creating, and talking about the talents and abilities that you have. Tell me more. We got the six of wands, which is moving to a place of calmer waters. And I feel like for some of you, this is, this is it. Those of you that have been betrayed or hurt or backstabbed or anything, it's telling you get to a place of calm, focus on what you want, visualize it, feel it, smell it. Don't let negativity or anything hold you back. Don't let situations hold you back. Create it, write it out. Where do you see yourself? What does your perfect person look like? What does your perfect person do for a living? What is your perfect job? What is your perfect friends? It doesn't matter. This is all about manifestation. Going to a place of calm and creating. You have everything that you can, you have everything it takes to do this. You just have to do it. Okay. Um, let me check out the situation that was of heartache just, just to see. Is there any news coming through on that? There is positive news coming through on that, or some of you it's with an Aquarius, but there's a hope and a wish coming through with that situation after all. So it might've turned out to be bad, but it's gonna turn out to be better. Um, this is also the card of healing. It's also the card of literally hopes and wishes coming true. And for some of you, it could be with an Aquarius, okay? But in that case, it looks like you will have an opportunity to rectify that situation if you want to. But it looks like they may have been indecisive, wishy-washy, back and forth in the past where the situation was. Or maybe you're not going to know what to do when it does come back. But nonetheless, Leo, take some time out. Move to the place of calm. Focus on the things that you do want. Write them out. Manifest them. You can do it. I manifest all the time. Everybody knows you can do this. You want to change your situation, change your mind. Okay? That's just going to be for some of you that have gone through any of the difficulties. Okay? What else do we have for Leo in the next two weeks? So we got the Six of Pentacles, which is awesome. This is somebody wanting to invest in you or give to you, be generous with you. This could be, and because we got the Ten of Pentacles, it looks like finances are going to turn out really well for you guys, okay? This definitely indicates you having money. Some of you might be investing in something or someone or something. It looks like some of you are looking at property, but it's different, again, for all of you. But yes, we got the Emperor following that. Some of you have somebody, a business executive person that wants to invest in something that you're doing or is going to offer you a job or opportunity with money. Okay, those of you that this person that has left you betrayed, that stands in the emperor status, which is basically somebody successful, somebody in power, somebody that could be stubborn, um, regardless, wants to come back and give more to the connection. Okay, but I do feel overall, this is somebody wanting to invest in you or offer you a new job or something. They're going to give you more or give you something. And this is a person in power. Wow, Leo, that's what we got for you guys. <laughs> oh, well, um, let me see if I can do something else. Let's see if I get. I want to do a love advice card for those of you dealing with a love situation. What love advice do we have for Leo? You guys are heart centered, heart ruled. 
Love messages for Leo, please, for the next two weeks. Remember, these are just short two-week readings. If you want to get the full one, you got to check the beginning of the month, which I did do. So check out that one. And um, I have a love reading, I think, and an overall reading. So we got take a chance on love. You know, for those of you that have been feeling like, oh, you don't want to move forward. You don't really know. You really don't know anything. You know, this is just telling you take a chance. Okay. Take a chance. Go out with that person, that random person that you just feel like maybe not, you know, however it resonates with you. And we got speak the language of love, talking nicely, diplomatically, tactfully, romantically, helps any romantic situation. And what else do we have? These are just love advice in general. Appreciate this moment. Be in the now. Dream of the future. Realize that there's a lot of beauty still going on. A lot of wonderful things. Always stay in the moment. Dream of the future. And then we got have faith. And guess what? I couldn't help but look at the following card. But have faith is so important. Believe. I love you. Somebody definitely has a message for you sending this out. Think about who this person is. All right, Leo, thank you again so much for joining me. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best as always. Until next time.